Can you fake being hypnotized like you fake having an orgasm? I can't imagine why anybody would want to fake being hypnotized. Because we all just want the real thing. It's true. I really hate, hate being tickled. Hate it. I don't like when people come near me, you know, just like too close or like touch me without asking. I mean, really talking to me sometimes is taking it too far. So today I'm here to see a hypnotist to see if I can get over that. Hi. Hey. Hey, Dom. Getting hypnotized? Yeah. Have you done it before? Yeah, a couple times. What did you get hypnotized for? Insomnia. Oh, Yeah, they okay. tried to put me in a dream state because I can't fall asleep. And then what did you get hypnotized for? The first time I did it, it was actually like at a comedy club. And okay, they had a my best friend stage. did that. Really? Okay. Yeah, but I really don't want to be unconscious while someone tapes me. No, you don't ever go unconscious. But you're kind of like in like a half-remembered dream. That's how I felt my first half of my 20s. Nicole? Have fun. See you later, guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in, Nicole. Have you ever been hypnotized before? I have not. I think you're gonna be super relaxed in a really nice way that you're gonna really enjoy it. Like a new prescription. So how long have you been doing hypnotherapy? I've been practicing for the last six years. Do you always wanna sleep all the time? No, not at all. Can I hypnotize my husband to make him do things for me? That's actually a very common question. Mm -hmm. That and can you hypnotize my dog? That was gonna be my next question. No. Okay. No. Do you do the thing where you give people a code word and it makes them want to, like, have sex or something? No, sorry. Can you make a guy fall in love with you like the craft? Unfortunately not. So you don't have a wand? No wand. No magic stick. And will I remember anything or is it like blacking out when you're drunk? Not at all. You'll be always listening to me. Okay. No. Just asking. I have a problem that has been making me very sad really my whole life. Tell me more about that. I really don't like being tickled. I really don't like people like touching me or coming in my personal space. Even the thought of somebody tickling me, it just makes me really, uh, I just wanna be like, do whatever you want, you know? Okay. Like oh. most girls in this town. I can't cure your tickling issue, but what I can do is help you to get rid of that anticipatory anxiety. Right. Because that sounds good. fingers are dangerous. Actually, they're not. But who wants dirty fingers all over your body? I, I'm gonna... Fingers are wrong, really, is what they are. No, let's give you suggestions that fingers are just fingers. How about that? Yeah. Does that sound good? Yes. Let's do it. So I just wanted to ask you a few more questions before we start. Is there a place in nature when, where you imagine yourself being absolutely relaxed? Just in my room. Totally. With my dog, mm. watching TV gluten-free barbecue chips. Gluten-free And some coconut water. Coconut water. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to do is go ahead and focus your vision on one point almost right above you on that ceiling. Okay. And so the more you continue to stare at that same point, the more you may come to find that your vision becomes blurrier and blurrier. The only thing your eyes want to do is just close. Right now? Whenever you're ready, whenever you feel okay. like your eyes just want to close. I'm ready to close. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to count from five to zero. Five. Four. Okay. Three, two, one. You are in your bedroom, just relaxing with your dog. And when he lifts up a paw to touch you, it feels good. So your mind understands that touch is normal, normal natural, and natural. It's just is normal. Touch. Hands are normal, and that includes fingers. And you anticipate that anticipate everything is okay. To be safe. And everything. And you're safe. So if somebody by chance gets close as they walk by, it's no big deal. You feel comfortable. And you anticipate good things. And now in just a moment, you're gonna come back to full room awareness. Wide awake and feeling great. How did that feel? Very relaxing. Wonderful. Very good. You're still semi in that hypnotic state. And so you're still highly suggestible. So thinking all positive thoughts is really important today. Yes. So stay away from my husband and my management. Yeah. Is there a hotel I should go to? Or like a recovery center? <laughs> Do you want to give me a little tickle? Sounds tickle? good, yeah. See, we're touching and yes. I love it. Yay, good. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm not even a lesbian.
Sup, sup. Take a good smile. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Ah! I feel like outbreak. Oh my god. We're getting mad. Oh my god. We're getting mad. Nicole, everybody.